So time to talk Gaelic games as we look ahead to the Ulster Under-20 Football Championship uh, for Donegal, which starts this coming Friday night. Uh, Gary Duffy, Donegal Under-20 manager, joins me to look ahead to the, the opening tie. Gary, how are you doing? You're welcome to Highland once again. Thank you, Oshin. I suppose, Gary, first of all, you were appointed back in March and I spoke to you then and you were very excited to be uh, to get, be getting back into the thick of things and in particular working with people of the calibre of Eamon McGee and, and, and Leo McLoon. How has uh, how's that work partnership been going for you over the last couple of weeks as you guys all prepare for a, a huge game on Friday? Yeah, it's been going well so far. You know, um, two boys bring a lot of intensity to the, the setup. They, they're they know what to do and equally they know not what to do and and it's important to have that and have the quality of the two lads with us is uh really is raised raised the bar for us as we pair for our championship yeah squad wise what's the preparation uh been like for you because i'm i'm sure over the last couple of weeks you really turned the heat up on it gary we've turned the heat up on it uh somewhat Oshin, to be honest with you there are a lot of there are club football and the boys are available to their clubs the first couple of games and we we're dealing with a lot of um soft tissue injuries and stuff over the last week so we're just trying to get the that balance right was uh was proven to be a challenge but um look we they're coming back they're coming back thick and fast and hopefully we'll be in a good place come friday night yeah so how are you fixed then squad wise uh obviously you have a few of them in Oxgar. Yeah, look, we've lost a, a couple of players that's, that's ruling them out. Keelan Gallagher is a big loss to us. Um, over the course, he picked up picked up an injury. Uh, Sean Curran as well and uh, Jack Gillespie. Th them lads have picked up knocks and are re going really well with training and, and some fortune for them that uh, they be, maybe Jack could be ready for Friday night, but that, that's going to be assessed uh, tomorrow. But uh, with, with Keelan and Sean, th th they're ruled out for the weekend. Yeah. Uh, and in relation to your actual squad, you, of course, were minor manager a couple of years ago, Gary. How's things changed since then and how's things evolved? And how many of that team do you actually have this time around in 20s? Oh, look, some have come and some have gone as well. And there's a backup from the minor 2019 team. So between they're trying to find the balance between the 2018 team and 2019 team. So there's there's a good mix there. There's a good blender. Um, lads are showing good character um, for it. Uh, uh, lads has really stepped up a, a lot of people a lot of players have developed a lot over the last couple of years which is great to see especially the times that we're in it and it's very easy to just put the feet up over the pandemic but a lot of lads did respond and had their eye on becoming uh involved with under 20s that hopefully would lead the way to their senior pathway yeah because there's a a new route not so much a new route but Donegal have taken charge of the route now so they have with Carl Lacey and Aaron Kyle's in charge of, of the academy and it's all about getting the conveyor belt now Gary getting the conveyor belt running properly I suppose more yeah look it's very much welcomed and we we bought into that in, in our management team and and Carl knows what it's like he's seen the gaps in the years with uh maybe under underage teams and we're just trying to close that gap and get that conveyor belt going so it's been well bought into it and the understanding of that has to be uh, at the front so that we can produce players for senior team in the next uh, couple of years. Yeah. Rory O'Donnell's named as your captain, Jimmy Grant as vice captain. Did, did you have much trouble in trying to select uh, your man to, to, to lead the side or was it an easy enough choice for you, Gary? Oh, look, at, there's a number of leaders in every change room and just Rory just maybe stood out and Jimmy, look, they're vocal, they're good lads. They really showed showed leadership on the training field. We didn't rush into the decision. We watched and we monitored it over a number of weeks and, and those two stood out and we're delighted that the, that they, they accepted the challenge of leading uh, Donegal under 20s this year. Yeah. Uh, a couple of challenge games, uh, Gary, as well for you that, that you've under your belt. Listen, you don't read too much in the results of challenge games. You, you look at the performance and, and players, and, and particular certain players, and see how, how they're developing. Did you get much out of those games? Were you happy with what you had out of those games, Gary? Yeah, look, at, we're, we're, we're always trying to find um, areas that lads to set into positions, and we use the challenge games for that. Challenge games are good. Don't get me wrong, um, but competitive football is where you learn far more. And, and we didn't get a league this year, so these challenge games was the next best thing. And it's to find out what players can settle into positions. And we've seen one or two that did step up in them challenge games that may be able to do a job for us come championship. Is there more pressure then on you guys as a management team, uh, given the circumstance that you don't have a league and you've got a very, very short period of time to try and get this team clicking properly, Gary? 
Yeah, look, come here, uh, pressures for tires, to be honest with you, Oshin. We want to develop these players. This is what we're about. We're a development squad, a conveyor belt for the senior team, and it's get, getting the balance right is what we're really putting all efforts into. Of course, we want to go out and win. I'm not here to say we're not, but the main thing is we keep things moving in the right direction for Donegal football. Yeah, well, you're playing our man Friday night. What do you know about the opposition at this stage, Gary? Because going under these sort of championships now in the current climate that they're in, it's, it's a bit of an unknown so there. Yeah, look at and, and equally for Armagh as well because they're no league football. Like I said earlier, um, it's very hard to know players develop like Donny Golden and players maybe don't make a panel that, that was there in minor teams. We we met each other at minor level two years ago. We in in Balbafe, there are a lot of good players um from that Armagh. Armagh brings the physicality which you always do, and it's Ulster football. And we know what Ulster football is like. It's competitive. Any one of five six teams can win, and Armagh is going to be no different in 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 that in any given year. Yeah, nice card at the end of it. A trip to Hilly Park to play Tyrone, Gary. Uh, we're not even considering that at the minute. We're just fully yeah. focused on Friday night, Oshin. Okay, and just maybe in the style of football, the modern day football, we've seen high scoring games at, at senior level, Gary. Is it something that we can look forward to possibly at, at under 20 level as well? Uh, look, with the Donegal, we, and Donegal gets a lot of criticism maybe in the past, maybe from 10 years ago and stuff. Donegal teams, particularly underage, always have been scoring high. They always try to play expansive football, and we're no different. Yeah, we'll look forward then to some good football this coming Friday night. The best luck against our Gary. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you, Oshin.